today, we're in the herd. With football, Bucknell meets Lafayette on Saturday, and both squads are desperately searching for a win, as the Bison have dropped three games in a row and the Leopards have lost four straight. Bucknell head coach Joe Susan says that most coaches might not still have a positive outlook on the season after three straight losses, but he does, and he gives credit for that outlook to his mother. You know, she woke me up every day with a positive attitude, and anytime there was anything, she, and she taught me how to look at things from a positive standpoint. And there's only one way to look at life. You know, we can't, we cannot impact what happened these past three weeks. We can only impact what happened today. And I think our kids did a great job with it. He believes Saturday will be a physical contest and that it will be a clash of wills. I, I think we have the ingredients. We've been close, but to be a good football team, you got to win the close games. And you, you've yeah. got able to, one of the things we've talked about, you got to be able to score more than nine points or more than 14 points. And we're going to work our tails off to do so. One of the unsung members of this year's team is long snapper Brandon Farrell. I did it in high school. And uh, Coach O'Connor knew I was able to do it. And whenever Jeff Goyette left, great long snapper in the Patriot League, one of the best. He taught, gave me a couple of tips, and I was just able to pick it up. And as soon as he left my junior year, I walked right into the spot and took the spot. I've been doing it ever since. Of course, the snap is the first job that Farrell has to do, but the second one is getting downfield after that snap so he can make a play on punt coverage. Uh, just really listening to Coach Bowes, I, I, like I said, I don't really play uh, defense at all other than when I go down there and make a tackle on punt, but I just love watching the uh, D-backs tackle and just listening to Coach Bowes and kind of just learning every game how to make a better tackle in the open field. Lafayette and Bucknell kick it off at 3.30 at Fisher Stadium in Easton on Saturday, and before the coin flip, Bucknell's Robert Naylor will be recognized by Lafayette College. 